right, here in round one, and I think we got them all again. We only got one land, so let's try this again. Hmm, two lands, but not quite the right land, but I think we'll still keep it, because if I get a third land, at least I can play Morph, regardless of whether it's a red source or not, so I think we're just going to keep here. Well, at least our opponent mulligan, too, that, that's helpful. We're on the same footing. Little mountain off the top would be nice. Alright, two drop, Bonkin, pretty good. Alright, well, technically we did get the red source. Just not quite the one I wanted, but still, I will accept. I think we probably drop the Glacial Stalkers first because they're the better morph guy than the Lurkers. And I'd rather build towards the Glacial Stalker, do the investment now. Um, ooh, that's a little harsh. Um, let's get rid of the Lurkers, I think. Because now I kind of want to play the Leaping Master and defend with it. He seems to be getting a bit more aggressive than my taste allows for. So I guess we're dumping the Lurkers. I would like to get the Raid for the Heart Piercer too, though. Well, we'll see. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to drop the Leaping Master, I think. And try and trade with the Bondkin, if possible. Hmm. Personator. All right. Uh, let's do the Leaping Master here. See if he wants to trade. Maybe he just outlasts instead. I'm probably okay with that. If he outlasts and attacks, then I just take it. And then I get, and hope I draw land. Because then I can heart pierce the crap out of that guy. Um, all right, I'm going to take this then. If he's just swinging there. Obviously, I'd like him to just outlast and then me to peel a nice land. We'll see if it happens. It would be helpful. Otherwise, I think our... our oh, good. Very good, very good. All right. Give me that land. Ah, that's too bad. All right. Well, we now we just get in. Or I guess now I have to offer the trade, don't I? That sucks. I'd rather trade off the Leaping Master than the Lurkers, though, I think. Because my options are attack here, get in for two, play a Lurkers, chump block the Skull Hunter. But now I think I'm just going to chump block the Skull Hunter and play the Lurkers. Could also do the Glacial Stalker, I guess, but... I don't know. I'm just missing lands. That's all I know. Guess I'd rather the Lurkers die. That sucks. That would have been a great turn. That would have been a, a real game changer. So I have to do a bad trade now that I'm really unhappy about. Land. Well, I did get a land, once again. Not the one I wanted. <laughs> Just not the one I wanted. That sucks. All right. This is uh, way more complicated than it should be. I'm not going to lie. Should not be getting beat down this bad. I just needed a fourth land. So I could use this heart piercer to good effect. Shouldn't be this hard to use a heart piercer. Probably should have just swung, I guess, but whatever. Whatever. 
could technically double block if he had nothing. Doesn't feel particularly safe. Guess I have a clever impersonator. It's not very good right now. Definitely want to peel a fifth land so I can... Oh, that's terrible for us. That's dreadfully bad. Plus he killed the more important creature, which is also dreadfully bad for us. Dreadfully, dreadfully bad. All right, so things have just gotten to the point where I don't think we can win anymore, which really disappoints me. All right, that was awful. That was probably the worst thing that could have happened, uh, especially peeling the lands, him having multiple removal, um, feeling just not confident at all anymore, which it's not in a position you want to be in, I'm not going to lie. Clever Impersonator is actually worthless here since I don't get the counter, so I'd get a 2-1 non-first strike or a 1-3 that can't block. So it's like basically the worst board state I can possibly imagine. Um for Clever Impersonator right now. Just worthless creature or worthless creature for me. I think we'll just copy the Jeskai student since I can't use the Outlast anyway. And I need a creature so I can actually Mardu Heartpiercer. Um, then I, at least I can block the student, take three, go to six. Hopefully attack and Heartpiercer this down. Um, you know, the thing I was trying to do like five turns ago but couldn't because I couldn't see the lands. So, yeah. Uh, awful clone effect, very unimpressed with the creature I got. Once again, just need a creature so I can play the Heart Piercer. This shouldn't be this hard. <laughs> this really shouldn't be this hard. If he attacks with both, I guess I have to take it, because if I block the student and I lose my student, then we just straight up lose, whereas if I take this, well, to be honest, we probably lose anyway, because if he has the Awaken the Bear, I can't do anything. That doesn't even make sense. How did he know that I've got a raid? That doesn't even make sense. All right, well... I guess we have to Savage Punch the Bondkin. Yeah, so here's the play. We Savage Punch the Bondkin. I swing with Jeskai Student. And then play Heart Piercer, killing his Morph. Well, pretty happy he took it, since he easily could have cleaned up on our student there. All right, well, I'm pretty happy we at least got to play our spells at some point. That Heart Piercer wanted to come out so much earlier. Jeez, Abzan Guide is a good one to kill, too. Opponent's got more cards in hand, which is not very good for us, but we've got a lot of potential good draws. A little bit sad still that we lost our Glacial Stalker and Canyon Lurkers. 
they w the Glacial Stalker would have been pretty awesome on this board. Alright, Long Shot Squad, it's a pretty good one. If he'd swung pre-combat, I still think I would have blocked. The Heart Piercer already did its job. So, Double Timber Charm now at least lets us fight the Long Shot Squad, which is pretty good. I'm trying to think if I would do it while he was tapped out. I feel like because he has Just Guy Student, he's got to have some tricks in there. All right. So I hold the mountain, pretend like I've got something better. If he attacks with long shot squad, I think I got a double block. I can't really take beatings. Pretty unimpressive draw. Well, this seems real bad for us. Let's see here. Um, I guess we double block here. And then stop the morph. Yeah, it's pretty awful for us, as you might imagine. Since we're going to lose both of our guys, at least I guess we traded the morph guy. Which was only a Sage Eye Harrier. So, let's see if we can't draw a creature. Valley Dasher, yeah, that's a, that's a creature, all right. That is certainly a creature. Thank you for listening, Deck. I appreciate that. Real good creature. Alright, well, the guy's drawn like magic, so can't do anything about it. Just going to take a bunch of damage. And Temer Charm, which is... Absolutely worthless right now. This would have been a lot useful earlier in the game, but probably not actually. I had trouble getting established for a long time in this game. Uh, much to my chagrin, as you noticed. So I guess we're going to game two, and I'm going to hope I can draw better. I find myself saying that a lot. hope I can draw better. Let's see here. Uh, sideboard against that deck. Stubborn Denial, probably not good enough. He does have some removal, but I don't have enough four power to consistently hit that, I don't think. And four spikes, not the most attractive thing to me. Set Adrift, it's also playable, but I think we're actually okay. I think we just play again and hope we draw better, like I said before. All right, we'll play first. Um, don't pre I don't really like this hand. But unfortunately, it's one of those things where it's not bad enough to mulligan. You know what I mean? I don't like it, but it's not bad enough to mulligan. So it's one of those it's one of those hands. It's one of those ones that easily loses if we draw lands the whole game, but could do really good if we draw spells the whole game. So these are uh typically hands I just don't like to see since they're not bad enough to mulligan like I say but in terms of keeping they're so reliant these hands are so reliant on drawing well
Like if it had at least been missing a color, I could have justified mulliganing it. But not missing the color, it really is just, oh, if you keep it and you draw lands the whole game, you're going to lose. If you keep it and you draw, you know, actual cards, you're going to do good. Well, step one is draw land, so we're off to a bad start there. But could get better. We just got to draw spells from now on, right? Just got to draw spells from now on, and we'll be good. Alright, uh, feeling less and less confident by the turn here, but don't want to get negative, so let's keep the confidence up. Just need to draw some spells, and then we'll be good. Oh boy, yeah. That's pretty funny. Well, how much you in a bet we're getting Savage Punch next turn? Yeah, this isn't gonna this isn't gonna be good. Well, maybe he plays a creature. Could get lucky. Just play a creature, please. Please play a creature. Thank God. That helped so much. We were probably just going to lose, but now this could completely flip the game around. So that was... Whew. That was excellent. That was very excellent. Yeah, this is actually really nice now. Well, I okay, I see what the I see what the issue is. Um I do want to do both. So here's how it works. I have to Okay, so I have to play a land, step one. Okay, so I attack for four. So I'm going to be costing myself two points of damage, but that's not a big deal at all. So we attack for four, post-combat play War Shrieker, and then Savage Punch kill is 4-4. Four, four. All right. Got our game plan. It's a pretty amazing mythic.
trying to think what I'd like to draw. Well, mountain wasn't it. I think Minesweeper, Temer Charm would have been. Yeah, both of those would have been amazing, actually. See if he awakens the bear. Bring it up to five. I could get it out of that range. Um, yeah, can't do anything. Mm. All right. Well, that was a good draw. I guess if he gets a second green source, I run the risk of awakening the bear plus Savage Punch, but I can't really worry about that since I kind of need this aerialist to win the game. Um, it actually does benefit us to play land since we're running Mindswipe, which if I top decked it now, I'd, I'd feel very confident that we would win, but uh, even Temer Charm would be nice. This could be the Abzan guide. So I think it is definitely worth blocking if he attacks. Oh, well that's bad for us. He's going to gain a bunch of life next turn, and we're going to be in a world of hurt. That's what I'm feeling. But no. No negativity. That's going to be a 1-1 one, one death toucher. That's what it is. Oh, he even has... Wow, that's that's pretty convenient to have in that spot. So... Really hope that's not the life linker. Unfortunately, it's the life linker. Take a bunch of damage. Cannon lurkers. So play the Lurkers, morph so I can block the Life Linker. Gonna lose our Valley Dasher. Oh, 
Maybe we're not going to lose our Death Valley Dasher. No, I guess we are going to lose our Valley Dasher. Well, actually, all right. I attack, he blocks with Horde Chief, and then I can Temer Charm his Warrior. And then kill the Horde Chief. It's not great. Leaves him with a Kintree Warden, but I don't think I can kill the Kintree Warden. It's got regen. Do need to sort of clear up this board a little bit. Hmm. That's interesting. Kind of want him to regen here. All right, so here's the thing: I can Temer Charm his Kentry Warden now and actually kill his regen guy, which seems pretty good. But I think I kind of need to minimize the damage that's going to come my way. So it might be better to do the Warrior. But that doesn't make sense. He'll keep the warden. But then again, I kind of want to. I kind of want to kill the horde chief. But then again, I also want to keep my valley dasher around. A lot of then agains. I think we just kill the kin tree warden now that he's tapped out to regen it. Then it at least motivates him to keep the horde chief back to block the valley dasher. Maybe, probably not. <laughs> but killing the regen guy, I don't know feel like it's slightly better since if I find a fatty maybe I can bash in I don't know oh well I guess a moot point all right lose pretty bad there uh, I'll see you around two